Unfortunately, you don't have to look far to find a negative statistic about Americans' credit cards these days. We're talking about record high balances, record high interest rates, delinquencies at their highest point in more than a decade. It all sounds rather gloomy, but I'm here to give you a glass half full take today, which is that I actually think the big picture is surprisingly positive. For starters, just over half of credit card holders pay their bills in full every month. So when we hear about record high balances, those stats don't usually distinguish between what's paid in full and what's not. There are a lot of people using credit cards for rewards and convenience and really getting cards working for them. It reminds me of that saying about credit cards being like power tools, as in really useful or dangerous. It's all about how you use them. And a lot of people are using credit cards responsibly and getting everything from cash back and travel rewards to extended warranty coverage, purchase protection, travel insurance. There's a lot to like if you can pay your bills in full. The other thing is that honestly, we would expect credit card balances to grow over time. We're talking about population growth, economic growth. People are using more cards and less cash. E-commerce is part of that. So there are some good underlying economic fundamentals when credit card balances go up. Where the rubber really meets the road, of course, is at the household level. You wanna make sure to pay your credit cards in full each and every month. That's when you can get cards working for you. Even there, we see some bright spots. The household debt to income ratio is low, historically speaking. So it's not all bad, but if you're carrying credit card debt at 20% or more, that's when you really need to make it a priority. Maybe get a 0% balance transfer card or take on a side hustle or pursue some other debt payoff strategy because it's hard to build wealth over the long haul when you're paying the credit card company 20% month after month.